everyone, my name is Sudhita Kuntia. I am from class 3 Stewart School, Bhubanesho. Today, I am going to tell you a beautiful story. And before I start this story, I want to, I want all of you to listen to the joke. And that joke name is The Traveler, The Great Traveler. Once, the traveler galloped a village. I mean, once a traveler came to a village and shouted at the villagers that come here give me the best quality homemade food and give me shelter or i will do what i had done to the other village he said uh, he said these words he said this very scary he sounded very scary then all the villagers say, said this is this mad traveler is saying that he had done something to the other village. Maybe burnt it or made or he's a wizard and made the people uh, blind or dumb. We should be on the safe side. So they gave the traveler the best food, the different, different, so many different kinds of food and the rest house of the village. Okay. What's that? The rest house of the village. They gave the traveler the best quality food and the rest house. So there the villager ate, slept and the next day he began his journey. I mean the, he was traveler. He began to travel. And then he went away. And before he was going and he was just uh, riding, he was about to, uh, he was about to sit on his horse to go. The villagers asked him, what did you do to the other village, O traveler? Then the traveler said, I left that village. Okay, he left that village and the tra uh, villagers were very scary. Okay, they were very scared that if. Uh, he will burn our village or make us blind or dumb or anything he can make. But he, uh, when he was going away, he said that he, will, uh, he, he did to the other village that he left that village behind and came to this village. <laughs> okay, and uh, let's start the story now. The story name is The Empty Jar That Was Not Empty. One, it, uh, listen, but it's a uh, Arabian night story, okay? It's an Arabian night story. And there the villager, the, I mean, the, not the villager, in a town, they lived a poor, poor man. A poor man. He lived, they lived a poor man with his wife and two daughters. So, there... He lived in the, I'm telling you about the Arabian stories. It's about, he's in uh, Arab, Arabian. Okay, that the village there, the, there was a poor man. He lived with his wife and two daughters. What happened there? Listen to me carefully. The villager, the, the man, the man said, the man say, sell something. The man sell some fishes. He was uh, he catch the fishes and then sell it in the market. He did that every day. One day he became too tired to sell anything. Very much tired that he said that he sent his elder daughter to uh, elder uh, daughter to sell some fish fish and bring some money or food back. Okay, to bring some money or food back. Okay, some money or food back. The elder daughter began his her journey. Then she uh, saw so many people there in the uh, town. Then she sat down, sat down with the fishes she had caught in the uh, pond nearby. She sat down with so many fishes. And... What was the fishes? No, no one thought about the fishes. Then, at uh, at last, a few people came and brought the fishes. There were 
they thought that the fishes are very nice okay then our uh, fishes are nice that they thought and all the people came and brought fishes from her and at the end of the day she found so much money she found money mm she found money and then she bring bring back home some loaves of bread many loaf loaf of bread uh, as she was coming home it was dark already so she was she was scared to go through the normal path so she she thought that there may be ghost or any other evil creatures so in the normal path of the way home so she decided to take a shortcut the shortcut was uh, the shortcut path was to go through a narrow lane to go through a narrow lane there she went but she was a little bit scared even though even though and she saw and she heard someone cry she went with the sound when the sound was coming she came went there and saw a house the crying sound was loud she heard that crying sound from that house and when she went inside she saw that it was a very very poor house they been poor than their house then she saw she saw a woman and her children lying on the floor it was the woman who cried then he she said will you stray o oh stranger will you give me some food here yeah, she said then the 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 girl the elder girl saw that she was very hungry she looked very hungry and starved to death and then she gave all the loaves of bread she had bought for her family all is uh, she said to that man woman without price the woman said i cannot take this without anything i will give, without i will give you something and then i can take it i can take it uh, normally then she said that i have nothing to give you so what i will do can you please take that old jar there was a old jar in that house she said to take please take that old jar please accept it but the girl didn't like that it was so dirty and no one if you would sell the domino self jar no one will buy it it was very dirty and covered with mud sand then he yeah, then she bought the loaves of bread and gave all gave it all to the woman and then the woman was very happy but to to uh, make the woman justify uh, she took the jar with her to her home the elder girl took the jar to her home all of them was very surprised all of them were very surprised that how uh, what uh, wow what the girl didn't sell fish didn't sell any fish uh, her father and mother and her sisters thought then the girl narrated the whole story then uh, they all went hungry that night then her mother said don't worry we have food in the day that's enough for do so we have to pass this night without food the next day we will say tell the younger daughter to say but uh, there when the girl was uh, giving the loaves of bread to that woman that night she, she the woman has said that that jar is not empty you take it the jar is not empty then the girl looked inside there and she saw that it was empty so she took that away that i told you just now that she came home and they passed the night without food the next day the younger girl was told to sell the fish see but instead of selling fish she was told to sell the jar if they could buy some 
thing to eat. Only one loaf of bread will be enough for the for that starving family who passed a night without food. Then the young girl went and said, began to sell the jar. Everyone looked at the jar with uh, the happy faces. But no one even cared to ask her what the price was. At the end of the day, she was not being able to sell anything, any jar. Uh, uh, she was not able to sell that jar. Then at last, when she was just going about to go home, she saw that a fisherman was coming and he said that will you please exchange me uh, for your jar I have only one fish left please can you uh, exchange it the girl the girl said the younger girl said oh yes please give me the fish and you can take the jar without price thank you she said and she came home very happy then what happened that night when that uh, when that man's wife was just about to sit and cut the fish uh, when she sat on the floor and began to cut fish when she cut that fish what came a real shiny pearl very very shiny pearl. They were all very delighted. Then, then what happened? The uh, the old man, that man, he the man went to his friend, the jeweler, the jeweler to sell the pearl. He he said, I cannot pay the right price. It's so it's so expensive that I cannot even buy it. I will ask my friend, the other jeweler, to buy it. He can pay you the right price. Okay? He can pay you the right price. He went to the other jeweler. He, the other jeweler, was very surprised. He took the shiny pearl in his hand very carefully and put it in his desk. And he said that, Okay, I will take this pearl as mine and I will give you the right price. He gave millions and millions of rupees. So many, I mean, he gave so many money. A big hill of money will make that much money. A big hill of money. He gave that much money to that poor man. He gave so much money to that poor man. And the man and the family were very happy. They saw that they had saved so much money. Even after buying, they bought a house. They bought a house. Be expensive tables, chairs, clothes. Very expensive things they brought. And they lived happily ever after. And one night after dinner, the old man said, the man said to all of his wife and children, he said that you are true. You are, you are, he said to his elder daughter that you are true. You are true that the old woman's jar was not empty. It is true that the old woman's jar was not empty. It was full of something precious that it saved us that last night. It saved us that night. Because without that woman's jar, we would not have buy that uh, fish from the fisherman. Or we could buy this house expensive things. He said and all of them agreed with that man. So, this is the story of the empty jar that is not empty. Thank you. Have a nice day.